Fleet TV Plus. This is morning news on Fleet TV Plus. He had headlines. Tinubu orders security agencies to rescue abducted Grisau students. Elijah Indigens protests to remove Ondo Deputy Governor. Two-story building collapses in Ijebun, Lagos. Robert Aunt spills secrets about his family. Activists at the tomb slammed over a conversation with Mobad's ghost. Outrage as officials kiss black girl during medal presentation. Now the news. Nigeria's president Bolame Tinubu has mandated security agencies to rescue the female students abducted in Zamfara. Bandits last week attacked the Sabongida community Bongudu local government area, kidnapping over 24 students of the Federal University of Gusau, Zamfara. While six of them were later rescued, President Tinubu has ordered security operatives to ensure those still in captivity are freed. The presidential aide quoted Tinubu as condoling with the families of those affected, reiterated his government's resolve to protect every Nigerian citizen, and in line with this commitment assures the families of the abducted students that no effort will be spared in ensuring their safe return. Tinubu has also vowed to ensure that educational institutions remain sanctuaries of knowledge, growth, and opportunity, and totally free from the menacing act of terrorists. In other news, as reactions have continued to trail the process of removing the deputy governor of Ondo State, Mr. Lokiaeda Tiwaba, the State House of Assembly, a group on Do for Better Life on Saturday, accused the lawmakers of collecting 5 million naira to remove the deputy governor. The House has, however, dismissed the claim, saying it was a futile attempt to blackmail it. The House on Wednesday commenced the process of removing the Deputy Governor over allegations of gross misconduct when he acted for Governor Uluwarotimi Akredolu. We are using this opportunity to condemn in totality the impeachment move or the impeachment allegation or misconduct allegation. Leveled against our son yes. is a wonderful, is a gentle, yes. loyal, yes. competent, yes. and That's qualified. Right. It is not our own Ayoda Tiwa. The man doesn't talk twice. He's, he's behind, he will always stand by what, whatever he says. Meanwhile, in Lagos, a video capturing the moment a two story building collapsed in the Jeku area of Lagos State has gone viral. As at the time of filing this report, it was unclear if there were casualties due to the building collapse. <laughs> On Mobad Update, an aunt of late Nigerian singer Mubad has revealed why his mother left him with his dad at the age of 12 when her marriage ended. Speaking in the Yoruba dialect in a viral video, the woman rebuked claims that Mubad's mom abandoned him. She said the late singer's mom was only allowed to live with last born when her marriage ended. According to the aunt, Mubad's mom was always in contact with her three other children under her ex-husband's care after she left. The elderly woman further went on to explain that Mubad had warned them when he was alive not to come out on social media to speak about what he was going through because of their safety. Everybody 
So we are with him. Not that okay, the Lord Gigi. Where my club in control is she. He will not be on me. And I want you people to stop talking about it. Okay, for more, for she can you come? Oh, what the law on me? Oh, she got to the she. Mobile, you come up by was it? I got to the family. So you go far. She kind of is a kind of gentle person, like his mom. So that is why we keep quiet. Not that I know very sorry, sit down now. In similar developments, the tragic passing of the late singer Lirio Luwaola Dimeji Aloba, known as Mubad, several individuals have come forward claiming to have communicated with the departed artist. Among those making claims is Nigerian activist Adetun, who conducted a live session on her Instagram. In this session, she asserted that she had been in communication with Mubad from beyond. According to Adetun, Mubad expressed his desire for prayers from Nigerians to enable him to find peace and rest before justice can be served. She stated that he revealed to her that he had left his mother to take care of his five-month-old son, Liam, whom he shares with his wife. Furthermore, Adetong conveyed Mobat's message that he had endured numerous battles and had sought help from many but ultimately couldn't find the relief he needed. Now he yearns for rest, having lived in pain and ultimately passing away in distress. Yeah, my boy. So that is what he said. So now he's saying that he left his mother so that his mother would take care of his son. And that is the reason why he wants everybody to pray for him so that he can rest in peace. And I pray that Mobad, you will rest in peace. Oladimeji, you will rest in peace. Ireti Oluwa, you will rest in peace. Oluwa, you will rest in peace. You will rest in peace. The fight is on. Everybody is standing up for you, but you will rest in peace. You will rest in peace. You will rest in peace. I will be coming live very soon again. We are going to the next place he says we should go. He is the one giving. So wherever he wants us to go, we will go. So whatever the next move is, when I'm there, I will call you people and we'll join hands and we will ask God for whatever he wants. So please, whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian, let us all join hands together. Finally on the news. Gymnastics Ireland has been accused of racism after an official presenting medals to young competitors keep the only black girl in the group. The viral video shows a Gymnastics Ireland official presenting medals during a medal ceremony. When she gets to each competitor, she puts a medal on their neck. However, when it got to the turn of a black girl as a child bowed her head to accept her medal, the official skipped her and went to the next white girl. The black girl is seen looking confused yet expectant waiting for the official to realize her error. But the official left with the last medal without presenting it to the girl. The incident reportedly occurred in Dublin in March 2022 but it is now going viral after the girl's mother spoke out. She said her family were very upset at how their daughter had been treated by Gymnastics Ireland and that they believe she was ignored because she is black, the Irish Independent report. Reacting to the racism role, Gymnastics Ireland said that it engaged with the woman who is now no longer a member of the sporting body after she chose not to renew her membership. Thanks for joining our news broadcast. Subscribe on our channel for latest updates. Okay, I'm going to be reporting for Sleep TV Plus.